Give me this sandwich. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at Springfield Town Center checking out Charlie's. They have a brand new offering, Larry. They call this the old school cheesesteak. And I could not be more excited to go check it out. Super excited. Gonna, I could use a good cheesesteak with some whiz on it. I bet it's gonna be really good. I'm hoping at, at least, so. Hoping. Let's go in and find out. Come with us. <sighs> it's like opening a present on Christmas morning. Oh, man. Oh, Charlie's. Oh, God. You've got the onions. You got the cheese whiz, which is melting down into the meat. Oh, boy, this smells amazing. A little bit of box meat. Charlie's, how do you not have this on your menu? This seems like the obvious thing that a national steak and cheese cheese steak chain would have. All right, enough said. Oh. Looking down the barrel of some beautifulness right here. Oh. Mm. Okay, I've had many steaks in Philly. This ain't it, but it's really good. Gary and I have always loved Charlie's. Their standard steak and cheese, delicious. I would probably do a little bit more cheese whiz on it, but but it's still got a good flavor. It's not. It's not a swing and a miss at all. Like, it's really good. A lot of meat on this bad boy. Like, standard, it comes, if you order it as is, it comes with extra meat, sauteed onions, and cheese whiz. That's it. But I just want to make sure that you set your expectations accordingly. If you have been to Philly and you've had Pat's, Gino's, Jim's, Tony Luke's, D'Alessandro's, any of those places, this ain't it. But another place where I can come and get a cheese whiz classic cheese steak that is a win for me. I will tell you this. The one thing I'm not really a fan of is how thinly sliced it is. Look how thin that is. See, I like some of those steak shops where the meat's just a little bit more thicker. So when they say, yeah, you're getting extra meat on this, it's like, yeah, you are, but it's really thin. So that's probably the only miss for this for me. I think that the meat could have a little bit more seasoning on it. But other than that, it's a solid offering. These come in small, regular, and large. We had to get the large. And by the way, Larry, we're not done yet. No, we're not. Because we got the steak fries as well. It's basically just a few pieces of steak on a plate of fries with a little bit of cheese. But that doesn't mean that I won't like it any less. Larry, you take the first bite. It uh, says number one cheese steak in the world. <laughs> All right, take it. I just got one fry and a piece of steak. Not good. Literally exact same steak, thinly shaved, mixed with cheese sauce or cheese whiz and fries. This is definitely more of a fork kind of bite here, but uh, let's try it out. Look at that. Look at that. That is a big ass steak. That looks like proportionally not going with the fries, but I'm not gonna argue that. It's like having steak and potatoes, you know what I mean? You're gonna pay around $4, and I think it was $4.99 for this thing of fries, which kind of seems ridiculous, right? So save yourself a few dollars and just grab some regular fries and put them on your cheese steak, and you've essentially got the same thing. You're welcome. Well, final thoughts, Larry. I, I mean, I'll just say really quickly, I thought it was a was a good idea on concept. I like a little bit thicker of the meat. Maybe give me a little bit more whiz, but other than that, a very solid offering. Very solid. Uh, I don't have any complaints. Was it the best I've ever had? No, but it's incredibly delicious. And I felt it was worth every penny. Yeah, $12.99 for large, you really can't go wrong. I just think that the fries were kind of a bust. I yeah. would just say, Put those fries on the steak, like I said before. Just put them on the put the fries on the steak, and it's essentially the same thing. Definitely. Well, we want to thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button down below if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you want a little bit more. 
and hit the bell so that you'll be notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when we upload new videos. Do it. And also head up the edibleadventures.com to pick up some merch, help support us until we can make money from these videos. Follow us on Instagram at the Edible Adventures. And this is the end screen. The last time that I visited Charlie's, some more cheese steaks, and a subscribe button. We'll see you on one of the we'll see you on one of those videos. Thanks everybody for watching.